My name is Melissa Heider, and today I'm going to show you how to use the website, the educational website, BrainPop. So first we're going to type in brainpop.com into the search bar. This lovely website appears. I'm not going to log in today um, to show you, but I will show you the basics of the website. Um, if you do have a login, it's great. If you don't, I would suggest asking your cooperating teacher or another teacher that you know to get access to it because it has a lot of videos. You can see the standards, lesson ideas, uh, worksheets, activities, labs um, for every unit. It covers almost all of our, pretty much all of our content areas and all the areas that are um, even electives that are offered in schools. So it's a really great tool to have at your disposal. So for today, let me make sure my volume's up. I'm going to show you their featured video really quickly. I believe it should be free. And so I'm gone. So when you click on a video, it shows you um, Mosby's hand. <laughs> and you can press, press play. Um, and they'll go through the video. And then we're not going to watch the video, but we can go to the very end of the video. And at the end, you can take a quiz on what you just saw and learned about. You can read more. You can, uh, there are questions that the teacher can ask the student to test comprehension, and then you can try an activity. The activities are my favorite because they're worksheets that you can print out or place on the board and have them copy down. And it tests their comprehension, and you can use it as an exit to get at the end of class. So what you do is you, you pass these out or you place on the board. And so each of these are assembled, and this would have been covered in the video. And you have them write a brief synopsis on, on each of these. And then there's a further research question that has them think a little bit deeper and analyze. I'm going to go back to the main page. And it goes back to all the content areas. My content area is health, so I'm going to click on health. And because I'm not logged in, I don't have access to I don't uh, to anything. So let's see if I can get anything up on here. I'm going to choose fitness. So it asked me for my login, but usually. When you log in, you'll have it'll offer you all of the different units, and then within the units, you can choose the different chapters or lessons. So under fitness, it would have obesity, heart disease, cardiovascular system, muscular system, all those things. Um, but at the very bottom, it has lesson ideas, and this is my favorite part about Brain Pop. So for the lesson ideas, and these I believe are free for everyone. You can get different um, lab activities. This is a great one. Lab activities to use in your classroom for any content area. Um, and if you click on a lab or an activity, it'll also tell you what the grade levels, uh, the grade levels that the activity is appropriate for, or how you can adapt it for each grade level. And it'll also tell you the common core standards and alignments which is really useful. Another great tool is that there are games that you can assign your students. So you can give, once you have a code, you have a code that you can give out to your students. And so for homework, instead of giving them a worksheet or something that's kind of boring, you can have them go on the computer and play these educational games. It's a little bit more exciting, in my opinion. Um, so now if we go back to the main Brain Pop page, Another fun tool that they have are the standards. And this is great because you can search by the standards. And so since we are in California, I'm going to select California. I'm going to search by my subject, which is health education, and then by my grade level. So I'm teaching seventh grade health. So all the different California standards that I need to meet during my uh, course of teaching 
seventh grade comes up. So for health education under fitness, I need to teach fitness and obesity, fitness and obesity. And so if I'm if I wanted for the eating disorders for positive body image, if I click on eating disorders, it asks me to log in. But when I do click on it, the uh, the video will come up, and the lesson plans associated with positive body image will also come up. And then on the side, typically it'll show you related videos, so fitness, obesity. Um, cardiovascular system, uh, balanced diet, and nutrition. So it's really, really easy to learn how to use this website. It just takes a little bit of time to, um, to play with it and to figure out how it works best for you. Um, but the videos are really great. They can be used for grades K through 12. It might be a little bit young for high schoolers, but it's really, really simple which makes it really easy to use. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short little lesson on Brain Pop and I hope it has uh, inspired you to, uh, to use this app. Make sure you get a code, otherwise it's really expensive. Um, but getting a code should be pretty easy. I look forward to talking to you more about Brain Pop. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.